Hey guy, I just want to come to you today and thank you for the opportunity to be able to spend this morning in the woods with my dog Deacon. God, I, just the opportunity to be here is more than enough. I'm grateful. Um, and God, I pray that I'll never take that for granted. Uh, pray that you will keep me safe today. Allow me to have a good attitude no matter the outcome of the hunt. And uh, if it's in your will for me to put a couple ducks down today, I just pray that you allow my hands and eyes to be coordinated to make good, clean, ethical kills and uh, to be able to recover everything I shoot. And it's in your son's name I pray, amen. Well, we've been set up for about 20 minutes now. Hadn't really seen anything flying. So, not a great sign, but past couple, oh, there's some ducks. Got him. That was nice. Was I recording? I was. Boom, baby. Yes, sir. Good boy, Deke. Give it. Give it. No, leave it. Good place. Good place. We may not shoot a pile of them today, but we got us one beautiful January greenhead. And he did it right. Smoked him right in the hole. Heck yeah. Them bright orange feet. That's awesome. Well, it may not be much, but pretty cool to me because uh came back into this what I call the Deacon hole. And uh, same spot that Deacon learned to duck hunt. And for us to come back years later um, and to enjoy a hunt, just me and him in this hole and to shoot a, shoot one greenhead doing it exactly how they're supposed to. I mean, just dropping right in and shooting him at 10 yards. That's really cool. Um, you don't always have to shoot a pile of them, boys. I know that social media and uh, just the way that the industry is these days It can make it seem like if you don't shoot a hundred stack or if you don't put up limits Then it ain't good or uh, it wasn't worth it or whatever and that's just simply not the case um, You need to approach waterfowling with the mindset of making memories and uh, You know just enjoying the art of duck hunting and calling a duck in and kicking water um, setting up with the wind all the small things that go into it are what makes it so fun if you could just go out to the woods or to the field and just shoot a huge pile of birds every day it wouldn't be fun um, so anyways that's at least what I love about it I love all the little factors adding up uh, because so many things have to go right even just to kill one duck like today you know it it's not coincidence that you come to a spot like this and, and kill even just one you know there was some thought and a strategy that went into that as far as where to set up based off the wind and uh, how to put your decoys out is even a big factor calling uh, you know I typically am a pretty aggressive duck caller especially in a spot like this but I was I was actually out there waiting about nipple deep picking up decoys I was just gonna leave and I heard that didn't sound very good but you know, I heard a greenhead whistle and I was like, ooh, I looked up and he was right there. And I was about 35 yards from my gun and I was way out in the water. So I was like, I'm just gonna quack a couple times and uh, see what he'll do. Just kind of peek his, kind of just take his temperature, if you will, see how he's feeling. So I just said, <laughs> and boy, he went. And he didn't do nothing too crazy, but I, I saw his shoulder drop and I knew he was interested. And so I let him circle. And then after that first circle, when he was heading away from me, I hurried out of the water and got to the bank. When I got to the bank, I watched again, he was coming back. And so I just gave him a little bit. 
he circled again as, as he was circling that time i ran over here to my gun and dropped in and got my gun and then i don't know three or four more circles of just some light calling um hitting him on the corners being quiet when he's looking like he might come in but whenever he's going away i'm hitting him just one mallard hen sound uh, kind of like this that's enough to turn him back around keep him interested and that last pass, they just dropped right in here and I was able to kill him. So, anyways, hope you guys are having a good season. Um, it's uh, really picking up for me the past couple of days. It's been really, really enjoyable and really fun to be able to shoot a few mallards finally. Um, hunting just by myself or in small groups is really fun. I enjoy that style of hunting. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know it was short and quick, not a whole lot of action to it, but um, I feel like it was good enough to put out here because I just wanted to get the point across that you don't always have to shoot a pile of them. So if there's anything to take away from today's video, uh, just remember to enjoy the hunt and remember why you hunt. It's not for social media or for a, a status to show how many you've killed. Um, none of that stuff matters. Even if you're just a... Um, high school kid or, or somebody that maybe doesn't have a whole lot of money to spend on all the biggest and baddest duck gear i mean i got a dozen decoys most people uh, can afford that as far as asking for birthday presents or christmas or saving up a little bit of money get you a half dozen or a dozen decoys um, any kind of shotgun will work and just one duck call that you are comfortable with and that's all it takes to go and have fun uh, so anyways hope you guys enjoyed it I'm about to get on out of here and go do some scouting because we got a massive cold front coming this weekend, like record-breaking temperatures, and so I want to be ready for that. So I'm going to go drive around, check a few spots, and just kind of see what the ducks are doing and where they're at because there are obviously not very many here today. So anyways, I'll catch you on the next one. Um, enjoyed hanging out with you again. Y'all be good.